Hey everybody, Beth here from Healthy Hints. I'm a registered dietitian, certified dietitian and nutritionist, and in today's video we're going to talk about alkaline water. Now you may have heard that this water is super healthy and provides many benefits such as boosting your metabolism, helping you absorb nutrients better, you know, prevent from bone loss, and even lower your risk for certain cancers. But the biggest question is, does this actually help? Does the water provide these benefits? Um, to start off with, I will say that all the research in this area is very limited. Um, it is only suggesting these claims I'm going to talk about today. There's no definitive answer whether or not these actually provide the benefits I'm going to talk about. So to start off with, let's talk about what is alkaline water. This is a bottle of alkaline water right here, and the difference between that and a bottled water is that it has, it has been ionized, so it contains alkaline compounds such as calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. And these minerals help it to become more basic versus acidic. And just to give you a little demo today, I've kind of laid out a couple different products here, and they're organized from most acidic to least acidic. So we have vinegar, which is the most acidic, with a pH around 3. Um, coffee, which is kind of mildly acidic, maybe like a pH of um, 4 or 5. And then we have tap water, which is called neutral at a pH of 7. And then we have bottled water, which may be like a seven and a half, sometimes eight. And then we have this alkaline water here that's between a nine or 10. Now, basic levels can go all the way up to a pH of 14. So you can kind of compare that to this one who is a nine or 10. The goal with alkaline water is to make it more like the pH of your bloodstream, which is around 7.4. So at least a seven or above is the goal. So let's evaluate these claims. It's the common belief that a North American diet contains plenty of processed foods, which we are all quite aware of. Um, while these processed foods have been um, thought to cause a chronic low-grade acidosis in our body. And what this does is maybe cause metabolic problems, hormonal imbalances, and contribute to loss of bone or muscle. So claim number one for the alkaline water is that it helps to um, increase nutrient absorption and prevent this chronic low-grade acidosis. So what is said is when you put alkaline compounds in your body, that it helps to neutralize your bloodstream, your body, your organs, um, and increase that pH level. So that way not only do you um, break down nutrients better, is what is said, but also to kind of offset that low-grade acidosis that I talked about. Claim number two, that it helps to increase hydration status. So they say that alkaline water is great for athletes, for people who do intense exercise. And what they say is that when you drink the water, it actually helps to increase your water retention rate, so that way you're more hydrated in your body and your bodily fluids, and decrease your own output, which can be great if you're doing you know, a long run, maybe a marathon, and you need to keep those nutrients, those electrolytes in your body for a longer amount of time. Claim number three is that helps to improve performance. Um, again, this is kind of something for athletes or exercisers out there. Um, alkaline water is believed to help boost performance because when you exercise, there's hydrogen ions that are produced in your body. Well, hydrogen ions make your body more acidic, and in turn, this causes um, earlier fatigue when you do exercise. So by drinking alkaline water, it can help to buffer that hydrogen ions that are being put into your body from exercise in order to make it more basic, more alkaline. So it can help prevent from that early fatigue. Just keep in mind that the benefits that I talked about today may not be from the alkaline water itself. It may just be from additional minerals in your diet that are giving you these health benefits that I'm talking about. And also, alkaline water may not be appropriate for everyone, especially those taking medications that may alter pH balance, such as those in chronic kidney conditions. So in today's video, we talked about alkaline water, what it is, and what are the claims. Just keep in mind that these claims um, are not proven through research just yet. There's still more research that's needed to support the evidence. What I suggest, focus on your hydration. 
If you're already struggling to get those eight glasses of water in per day, whether it comes from tap water, bottled water, or alkaline water, stay hydrated. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to like and follow us for more great healthy hints, workouts, and recipes, and be sure to subscribe below.